My name is Andrew Oppmann, and this is Our Favorite Things, where we talk about the tools and the products we use on a daily basis to mobilize thousands of volunteers. And today, we're going to talk about paint supplies. We're not painting experts at NeighborLink, but over the past eight years, we've done over 350 painting projects. We certainly have a few thoughts on uh, what some of our favorite things are when it comes to paint brushes and paint pails and some of the tools that you need in order to paint. First thing first is starting with prep. We highly recommend and prefer these canvas tarps. They're durable, they lay flat, and they cover a large space. The other option is a plastic tarp, and those plastic tarps just move around all the time and don't, don't really stay. They're cheap, they're easy to throw away, but they end up causing more problems than they are helpful. One of my personal favorite things is the use of a cardboard box instead of a tarp. I like that it's rigid, everybody has a box laying around, and you can just kind of move it as you go. Painting tape is another necessity with painting projects. It goes around all the windows and doors, keeps the paint off the wood trim. Using the blue or the green is what we recommend. Try to stay away from masking tape as it's hard to get off and typically leaves some residue. Next is what you're going to put the paint in. We really love these handy pails. They're strong, they're durable. You can see we've been using these a long time. One of the best things about these handy pails are these interior aligners that you can pick up. You can reuse these a couple of times if you're using the same paint, but the best part is once you're finished, you can just throw it away and you keep your pail clean and you can reuse this pail. The pail also has this uh, adjustable handle that helps adjust to each individual painter. Another thing about these handy pails is if you've ever dropped your paintbrush in the bucket, this has a magnet that keeps the brush from falling in. Definitely recommend buying a handy pail if you plan on painting a lot or you wanna buy something that's gonna last. Next up is a paint tray. We love these metal trays over plastic trays. The biggest reason is they stay in place and they're far more reusable with these interior liners. Pick up a few of these, keep your tray around, and most of all, it's just not going to move around on the ground like the plastic trays that are cheaper and throw away. If you're going to use a tray, you're going to need a roller. We recommend getting a heavy duty version. There's nothing worse than having the end break. When it comes to roller covers, there's all kinds of roller covers. The biggest thing to be aware of is looking at the surface you're going to paint and making sure that the nap or the thickness matches the type of wall surface that you're painting. Otherwise, a nice heavy duty roller will be what you need. In addition to the bigger rollers, I really love these small rollers. This is a six inch version and they make a smaller one. They work really great, like in a kitchen between the cabinet and the countertops. Anywhere that's kind of in between a paintbrush and a roller, these things come in handy. And they have all the same type of roller covers as the big rollers. So pick up a couple of these. While we're talking about rollers, everybody needs a good extension pole. This one is about two foot long and covers most circumstances. It also extends to four feet. In most house settings, you don't need much more length than this. This is a really good heavy duty pole that we recommend. It's made by Worcester. Finally, let's talk about paint brushes. We use several different types of neighbor link. The first one is the, the inexpensive chip brush. We go through a lot of these throughout the year. They're good for one-time uses or when you're using oil-based paint. We paint a lot of fire hydrants and these chip brushes come in really handy when we're not wanting to clean up brushes at the end of a project. Next is this mid-range brush. We go through a lot of these, we paint a lot of houses, and we usually can get a couple of uses out of these before we need to replace them. They're a good $2 to $3 mid-range brush. Any paintbrush is gonna get paint on the wall. Kinda of comes down to how good of a job you wanna do and how long you want your paintbrush to last. We recommend getting the nicest paintbrush that you can afford. These are about a $15 brush. They last a really long time. If you keep it clean and you keep it stored in a protective cover, this brush I've had for over 10 years. They really do last a long time and it's worth the investment. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Our Favorite Things. Leave us a comment if you have some favorite painting supplies we should know about. Until then, check out NeighborLink Fort Wayne to learn a little bit more about our work.